Hey guys, it's Paul here. Um, wow, do I have got a heavy message to share today. This is a tough one. Um, I'll, I'm just going to go right into it. Heavenly Father, I ask you to lead my words and everything I say. Let the Holy Spirit take over. And please give everyone in the discernment they need to understand what I'm about to say. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay guys, um, last night I went to bed and I was asking my Heavenly Father what's going to happen to my family. I went to visit one of my sisters. She was giving my daughter a grad gift yesterday and when I arrived there I kept hearing out of the conversations of their mouth. All I could hear is when things go back to normal. You know we can get together world 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 they were just everything they were talking about was world 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 and they were standing their distance from us they're both double vaccinated i'm not and i'm like i didn't say anything i just like we kept our distance we talked and then i left from there and i had this sadness on my heart like you wouldn't believe so i came home and i, I took it to bed after work and i i said god what's gonna happen like you know there's so many scriptures that say, you know, one will be chosen, one will be left behind. Some are, you know, the gnashing of teeth. We all know these, these scriptures. But, uh, you know, I grew up in a Catholic home. I have left it. I've completely walked away from it. I got baptized with the Holy Spirit. I've moved on from that whole religion world. Me, it's just me, the Bible, and God. And that's all I care about now. But, um... I get woken up at 5.25 this morning and I didn't have a dream. I was just really shook awake and I'm like, whoa. And I'm like, God, why are you waking me up? You know, and, and I knew to look it up in the Strong's Bible and I'll put up what it says, but in a nutshell, it said, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to have to do something you don't want to do. I'm going to compel you to do something. I have an errand for you. So I didn't know what that meant and I went back to bed. And then um, I woke up a little bit later. I don't know what time. It might have been around 6 or 7 or something. And the date came on my mind. And I'm like, God, why are you telling me to look up the date? So I did. I'll put that up too. And it was saying this, you know, this is something we all have to do. So <clears throat> just before I woke up, I, had an, I, I was uh, sleeping in a bit later today. I don't remember what time exactly I woke up at, but I woke up to seeing a dream of me walking along a path, like a, a highway by my area here, and I was on my way to my father's house. And I saw my sister and her husband, who I had spoken to yesterday. They were going in the opposite direction. I'm not quite sure what they were driving. It looked like a really oversized quad. They were both wearing masks, and they were going in the opposite way of my father's house. So that woke me up and I'm like, whoa. So I stayed up, got up, came outside, cleaned the pool. I'm just doing little errands, praying to God. I got in the pool, laid in there, and I prayed for quite a while. And I said, God, like, is this from you? Like, you know, I'm testing the spirits. I'm asking him, like, whatever your will is, I'll do it. And, and then I go in the house and I see my daughter we start talking and I put a video on I mean I was cruising through pages and pages and pages of videos on YouTube and the one I chose was an automotive one just because of a fancy title it caught my attention and lo and behold my confirmation car was in that video so here's the message for those of you who are like me and you're sensitive to stuff in your environments and stuff for three months before coronavirus, actually even longer, I'm going to say five months before coronavirus happened, I, I knew something was coming. I didn't know what it was. And I have that exact feeling. That, but it's building up. It's at the beginning of it building up. Where I live, in two days, it's Canada Day. And I will not participate in that at all. I, I'm so dis disappointed with the world, politicians, the movement of everything. I will not participate in that. I'm actually not proud for the first time in my life to be a Canadian and that's terrible but at the same time I won't idolize this country so <clears throat> my
my friends, what God was trying to tell me, showing it through my family, or one member of my family, we are all going to have to be walking away from them. And I forgot to mention, a couple of days ago I woke up, and I don't remember the time now, but the number associated with was divorce. We are going to have to separate ourselves completely from those we love. It's coming down to it now, guys. You choose the world or you choose God. And I know now, around everywhere, my family, my friends, and even my work, they have no clue, no clue what's going on. I even had these wonderful conversations with my best friend. When I watch his face with what I'm telling him the Bible says, this is a guy who reads more than anybody I know. He's an obsessed reader of fiction. And I asked him, how could you enjoy and read all those fantasy books like with no second guessing yourself? But I ask you to read the book that is your inheritance from God. And he's like, well, to me, it's just a book. I don't know who wrote it. And I tell him who wrote it and he doesn't believe it. So basically, <laughs> I hate to say this because I, I, I was weeping like crazy in the shower just thinking about this and how all the people I'm gonna have to let go. You understand? They have to go tr through tribulation. Those sitting on the fence, they're, they're going to be the tribulation saints. There's going to be a lot of people that denied. Who knows, maybe during tribulation they'll come to God. And then there'll be those that just won't, won't let go of their intelligence. They will not let go of their pride. So anyway, that's the message God told me to tell you. I love you guys very much. Take this to heart. Take it to prayer. Use your discernment. I hope you get the answers you're looking for. Bye guys, love you.